welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a thrift haul and for such a special occasion I decided to wear my favorite thrift item I've ever gotten. I've had this sweater for uh, something like 10 years and it's my like go-to winter sweater so I thought it'd be appropriate for this video. Uh, today I have some home decor items and some clothing items to share with you. Some of them are a little too warm for summer or spring, but I think that they're good for, you know, those chilly spring summer nights. So I'll start with the home items. First thing I got was this super cute mug here. It has a fun little design on it. And I got this for $3.99, which isn't an amazing deal, but I thought it was cute enough to pick up. Love that. Next item is this cool vase thing that has like a cracking detail in it and I love the like um, brown warm tone color that it has and this was $1.99. I probably won't put anything in it, I'll just like put it on a shelf and leave it be, I guess. <laughs> Next item is a pair and it's these two little jars that open like this. I really like these for like spices or seeds or just little things that you want to store in your cupboard. It's a good zero waste alternative when you're buying in bulk and I just feel like you can never have too many of these kinds of little jars. The next item are these two little salad tong things. Um, I've been looking for a pair of these for a while now because I find that salad tongs are just so um, clunky to use and with the, because they always have really long handles and when they're in a bowl that's too small they like fall out and it's just a hassle but with something small like this um, it's just like easier to use. Uh, one thing that I um, messed up on was this one right here. I accidentally <laughs> broke already. So these are made out of bamboo that's glued and pressed together, right? And I assumed since it was second hand that they'd probably been washed aggressively and I wouldn't have to worry so much about them breaking apart. So I put them in the dishwasher, which <laughs> I know you're not supposed to do with bamboo because it literally does this. The other thing with these is that they were only a dollar so I knew putting them in the dishwasher that if they broke it wasn't a huge loss but now I'm really upset because now I don't have functioning tongs. Uh, but I'm hoping to put some glue on it and stick it back together and then we'll be good to go again. Grabbing salads. Next one is this beautiful basket. I showed this in my recent video about decorating low light rooms. This was $1.99 which is amazing um, and it's so good for home decor. I typically don't buy things where I'm like oh I'll find a home for that because then you just clutter up your home but this I was like I could put this on the wall, I could put it in the bathroom, I can put it like flat down, I could put it standing up. I was like, it's too versatile not to get, and I love the like natural texture it gives. The last home decor item is this pot here, cute little pot that I have a succulent in. I love buying pots from the thrift store because if you didn't know, pots are so expensive in like garden stores or whatever. Um, and this guy I got for, I think like a dollar or fifty cents, honestly. Whereas like you would pay $15 for this from like Home Depot or somewhere like that. So like I'm always keeping my eye out for cute pots at the thrift store because I hate paying full price for them. On to clothing! So first item I will show you is this lovely shirt here. I wore this in a recent video as well. It's a really nice shirt because it's really thick so it has a nice structure to it. Um, and I love like high neckline shirts and I love black. I wear a lot of black but throwing the like white stripe in there is a fun little twist and it has this cute little leaf logo on it. No idea what that is. It's a little long so I just tuck it into pants and I think it looks cute. The next item is this vest that you can see right here. 
Um, so, story behind this is my mom was, I was out camping with my mom and she was wearing a vest, like sherpa e vest like this, and I was like, mom, so cute, where did you get that? And I think it was like passed down from my aunt or something, I don't know, I was like, I want that. And then a little while later I found one at the thrift store and I'm like, well, obviously I have to buy it, it's so cute, like little sherpa vest, great to just throw on in the spring or... I don't know, just, I wear it whenever. <laughs> oh, and I should say, I don't have the prices for all of these because some of them I throw away the tags. Next item is jeans. I find that jean shopping is really a process. Like, if you want to shop for jeans at the thrift store, you need to invest time into it because they hang them up like this, so you can't see the legs on them, and 90% of the jeans there are like, bell bottoms which I'm not into sorry 70s fans so you really have to like look at every pair to see if they're the right cut for you um, these guys are really nothing special oh actually they're banana republic how fancy um, yeah they fit great and they're, they're skinny jean which I love they have this uh, zipper on the ankle which I'm not gonna use but it's a fun twist and yeah they're just a great pair of standard blue jeans. Uh, the best part of them is that they were $10, which is an amazing price because I hate spending $50 on jeans, but that's what you have to do if you want good jeans. So, thrift store jeans, always amazing if you can find a pair. Next one is quite similar to the vest I showed you, and it is this Sherpa jacket if you can see. Um, yeah, I saw this and knew that I wanted it. It has cute little Sherpa cuffs and a nice little collar. Um, I don't know, I just, I, I like wearing black a lot, but I also like pairing it with neutral tones like this, um, just to balance it out. And this is just a super nice warm sweater for, um, evenings, like I said. Um, yeah, love this one. It was a really good find. And it was $15 for a jacket! $15! So good. Next item is a turtleneck, which turtlenecks are like, I don't know, 50% of the stock at the thrift store. There's turtlenecks everywhere. I don't know why people always give up their turtlenecks, but it's great for me. This one has more of a like baggy feel to it. It has, I think, three quarter sleeves, half sleeves. Um, yeah, it's a nice loose sweater. Um, it has pockets which is great because we know the struggle of pockets, of course. Um, yeah, and I just love turtlenecks. I feel like they're just so cozy and I just feel safe wearing them. You know, like I'm being hugged around my neck. <laughs> and the last item is another turtleneck, but this one's different, so it's okay. It's more of those, what's it called when it's like a, a little neck, mock neck? I think mock neck is what it's called. Um, it has like this, I don't know what you call it, like a rib, ribbed tone, ribbed texture on it, and it has these short little sleeves, which is like just a really cute look with the mock neck. It's like sleek and, I don't know, it's cute. Everything's cute. Uh, this one's from Le Chateau, which is also like a good quality brand. Just short little shirt, and it's a nice material that will like hug close to you. It doesn't like get baggy or anything, so yeah, love. Yeah, so I guess that is all of my items. Um, I loved thrift shopping. It's really good for the environment. It's really good for your wallet. And it's just like so fun finding little treasures, right? I try and go often to just make sure I'm not missing anything cool from the thrift store. I also try not to buy too many things to clutter up my home. But they, you can find really cool items that add a lot of character to your house. Yeah, so that's it guys. Thanks again for coming around. If you liked this video, like this video. If you really liked it, subscribe down below. And I hope you guys have a, a beautiful day as here in Vancouver the weather is starting to turn and we're getting sunshine and heat and it's amazing. Uh, I hope it is where you guys are as well. And yeah, have a great day and talk to you later. Bye.